Welcome to another episode of Cutting It Up at Palm Beach Finest Barbershop. My name is Mr. E, your host, and this is my co-host, Succulent Michelle. And our guest today, Robert Noel. Yes, sir. How you doing, Robert? Doing pretty good. So you're a local, huh? Yes, local. Where were you born here, out here in Palm Beach? Well, I was actually born in Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce, Florida. It's okay. The Treasure Coast is yeah. still the part PSL. of the The PSL. Raised you know, in West Palm Beach. From what age? When when did you move here? Um, like, did you grow up at all up, up there? No, nah, got right here around six years old. Okay, so you, you did some Most time in Port St. Lucie. Yeah. How old are you now? 26. Ladies, 26. Ooh. 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 <laughs> you seen that, huh? Uh, so, Robert, how did I meet Robert? I um, how did I meet you? The liquor store, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it was the yeah. liquor store. Yeah, Robert over here. What did you say? You like the manager or the? Yeah, manager. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. The, Robert is the manager of El Rey Liquor Store. Yes, yeah, sir. Good, good, good place. Well, we still up in late night. Did all you, you say late night people. El Rey. El Rey. Mm -hmm. You rolled the R. Oh yeah, you got to. Okay, you gotta roll that. You gotta. Oh, sorry. Let's do it again. Ready? El Rey. Rey. El liquor store. Located where? 4053 Lake Grove Road. All right. Uh -huh. You got the address. I can't roll my tongue. They can't sell it. La, what la, you la, mean? La, la, la. What you <laughs> mean? I told you how you could get practice doing that, though, right? Oh, yeah, with the, with the, the uh, dip thing, uh, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I ain't there yet. <laughs> so, Robert, how did you get started at the liquor store? I mean, I started when I was young. I was, like, 18. So you were, you were selling liquor at 18. Yeah. But you couldn't drink you it. You couldn't drink it. Yeah. Do you drink now? <laughs> I drink here, here. I drink here and there. I don't drink too much. What's and your I favorite used to drink? Go crazy. My favorite drink? Yeah, you can't oh. get drunk on your own supply, bro. Yeah, that's you true. You can't get drunk on your own Not supply. Not for free. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. At the liquor store. Where you well, my favorite drink is I um, usually stick to vodka, like the regular stuff. Nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. Like you mix it or you don't mix it? It depends on the day. Sometimes I mix it, sometimes I don't. What's your choices of mixes? Cranberry. You got. Fruit punch sometimes, lemonade. It depends on the mood. You know, sometimes you don't want something too sweet because it messes up your stomach. Sometimes you want like maybe some like mineral water, something like that. It all it all works out well. Where the club you? soda. Club yes, soda. Yes, ma'am. There you go. That the classy well. drink, right? Uh huh. She right. know. She know. She oh, yeah. I don't do vodka drink. No, no, uh, no. I'm whiskey only. What's your favorite drink? Uh, Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke. Oh, yes, yeah, Jack, Jack, Jack and Coke too. Yeah. That, that's my drink. I can't do vodka. It gives me a headache. Yeah, well, yeah, that one mm -hmm. and tequila. I can't do no tequila. It gets well, me I can do margaritas. I like Captain. Mm -hmm. Captain here, too. Captain. Captain. Captain the, the yeah. I think I hit my quota on Captain. Uh, what do you say is like the best seller in the liquor store? Best seller is whatever is trending. Like not like right now, like 1942. That one's um, trending right now. What is 1942? It's Don Julio. It's just oh. a, yeah, it's And that? that's rum? still rum, right? No, that's um, tequila. Tequila? Yeah, oh, I think it's like Reposado or something like that. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. And that's trending right now, huh? Yeah, and um... I Hashtag 1942. Yes, Who knew? I forgot the other one. It was like in a blue bottle with a bell, blue and white bottle with a bell on top. It's, um... What is it? Not, not Johnny Walker? It's not, I think it's Classy Azul. I think that's what it is. Classy, Classy Azul. Azul. Yeah, Classy Azul. That's is that like is. another tequila? Yeah, it's tequila. So yeah. tequila is just bad. Trending right now, yeah. Oh, that's what's on deck. Anything huh. the celebrities drink, everybody else want to drink. Mm -hmm. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Well, so how about Henny? Henny's not trending? Henny sells any day, any time. Right. right. Anything that's, is possible. There you go. Yeah. Drink some Henny. Uh -huh. Anything. <laughs> he said anything. That's Henny. you. Oh, that's a new one. That's hashtag. Cute. That's a new hashtag. It might be already yeah. a hashtag. What I'll is it again? Check it out. Anything? Anything is anything. possible. I like that. <laughs> look at you. Hey, Robert over here too. Um, inspired me to do a lot of commercial stuff too, like all that little wacky stuff. He, he, I, you I, mean I Mr. E Promotions? Yeah, that that right there. That's I got not that wacky. From him, cause he be doing uh, some real crazy shit, jumping out of cars. Oh, I borrowed that one from you. <laughs> no, I think you, I mean, think I, you, no, did, no, it no, first. you did it first. No, jumping out of cars, cause I think you. No, it was the car wash thing. It was a car wash thing. That's how I came out of the car. You t you got that one first. I'll give that one to him. I love car washes. Oh, he does good. Oh yeah, he's a, he, he's a detailer. Wash. He washes yeah. cars. He comes to All you. All right. Tell him about your business. How got how, how did you get started from well, going from a liquor store at eighteen, can't drink while while on the job, you know, then becoming a slow, a, slightly into the into a lick uh, and uh, what do you say, an alcoholic? You just yeah. begin. <laughs> Uh -huh. right. Local celebrity. We'll call well, it a local celebrity. Yeah. Nice. Huh? Well, I came into detailing because, you know, we got family members. We all talk about how to get more money and stuff like that. <clears throat> so we came we came to a conclusion about, first we thought about restaurants, stuff like that. But 
What kind of food you guys thinking? Some, something like quick food, like hand food. Cause you know the area is most is dominant a Spanish neighbor, a Spanish area. So you want to bring something like regular American food, like hamburgers, wings, stuff like that. But something that everybody enjoy, with pretty much the same flavors, same taste, but just a different aspect. Instead of having tacos every day, you can get burgers, wings, and everything. But late night, cause you're not. There's not a lot of places late night you get burgers and wings around here. And then you work a lot of late night. So you yeah. cook? You cook food? So you're saying you cook food too? I don't anymore, but I, oh, used, okay. to be, I used to be a line cook. Okay. Side the brass ring pub. All right. There uh -huh. we go. And how old were you when you were doing that? I was, um, I think I was like 21, 22. I can't so you were doing you. that and the liquor store? Oh no, I had just recently left the liquor store that time. Oh, so I you had, took a break. Yeah, I changed, you tried to do something else. Yeah. It's important, folks, to have a job before you leave a job, and that yes. way you have that security of the job. Okay, go for it. Yeah. yeah. Good <laughs> job, Robert. Good job, yeah. Robert. Well, I was kind of in between them, so you know. <laughs> oh, so it was like a, a, a it was like a I had to get those jobs. Yeah. <laughs> a breakup relationship. Yeah. And then you went back to the liquor store. Yeah. Yeah, but so, the liquor store is fun. I'm sorry. That's okay. So how can people find your d car detailing business if they want to have well, their, their rides cleaned up? Well, most, well, now it got pretty popular. Everybody like tell people, hey, this guy Robert, he does detailing. Mm -hmm. Or if I see somebody like Mr. E, you know, everybody know Mr. E Promotions. Shout out to Mr. E Promotions. Um, I get him my car. So if you know anybody that needs their car detail, he hit me up. He's like, hey, Rob, I need, I got somebody that needs their car detail. And I just, you know. They hit my line, we go about it that way, how they want to do it. Are there, are there any times, like when you start in... in um, yeah, most of the time I start from like around, since I work late night at the liquor store, I start from around 9.30 a.m. Wow. till mid-afternoon, say around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's about it. But so you work by appointments only? Right? Yes, by appointment only. Nice, nice. And then what's your, what's your range? My range... Depending on the money. I go all the way down <laughs> to Miami. I've been to Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Really? Go all, go all the way up the no, far as Fort out, um, no problem. Right. Go as far as Port St. Lucie. Vero Beach is my max right now. I said so you, Vero you, Beach you is you my max Vero right Beach now. already too? No, I didn't hit it yet, but that's my max. Just right. going, I, I drove there before, I know how mm -hmm. far. That's my it's max. It's a long drive, you know what I mean? If you're yeah. driving there, and then you're driving back, and then you're working on a vehicle for several yeah. hours. Oh, you know man, what I mean? It, so that, that's that, all. What's that going rate? Right? Something in Miami. So Miami. What? Miami. Got, what? What? You know, you got to give the exact number, but what got you to get to Miami to go to Miami? It, it's just because like most people that live in West Palm Beach either migrated from Miami or people in Palm Beach that I used to know went down to Miami. So it's just like word of mouth, and then I end up in Miami sometimes, Fort Lauderdale. So a lot of people start hitting me up. So. I make it worth my while by charging a certain price to come down there. So what's a certain sure. price for the people over in Miami that want to get your services done by Robert Noel? Like yes, what's your starting price? Yeah, starting price on in, in Miami. In Miami, it could be like sixty-five and up. I don't try to scratch it too much because really? it doesn't cost me that much to go down there. A lot of people say, "Oh, gas, this and that," but it it don't cost a lot of and gas to go down there unless you got like a big gas guzzler van something like that and you do full detail like full wax, details everything. mini details anything you want just haven't got to paint correction and ceramic coating yet coming soon okay. yeah it sounds like you, you you're interested in yeah. Yeah. there's probably an online class for that yeah it is it is mm -hmm. yeah, it's a it's a big wave too a lot of people getting their car ceramic coating all crazy stuff but it's worth it. I've seen it on my own now. It's worth it. So what's the difference? So I, I don't know anything about ceramic coat. Could you tell me anything about it? Basically, it's a it, it's steps into doing it. You got the wash the car completely. You got the clay bottle car. Yeah, it's a lot. You basically got to decontaminate the car before you apply the ceramic coating, which makes the car almost like waterproof. So the paint, when the water hit the paint, it just beads up and slides right off the okay. paint. Okay, so mm -hmm. instead of wax. That's way the better. ceramic, right. ceramic is. It, they, they have their similarities, okay. but like ceramic, coating. ceramic okay. coating, it lasts way longer, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's. I don't know how to really explain it, how to get into depth of it, because I'm not a scientist, but you know, it, la yet. it lasts not longer. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen some cars because yeah. I've seen some cars with just amazing shine, like supercars in the rain. Like yeah, yeah. And, and then you think, like, yeah. I just cleaned my car the other day. Why did it look yeah. like that? Yeah, and yeah. then it sucks. I got a white car. Too. Yeah. That shit gets dirty right away. And me too, I have a white car as well. What most people don't know is once you get your car detailed by me or any other great detailer, all you have to do is rinse your car off once it gets dirty. And if they did it properly, all you have to do is dry it off. 
You won't have no dirt on the car. Mm -hmm. There you go. That saves you money yeah. on the second wash. Free, free, uh, what is that? Like free, free detail device. Free detail. Oh, free detail yeah. device. Yeah. You're a natural, bro. I try You're to tell people natural. they don't listen. They, some You're people fucking natural. But some people say they just don't. They don't feel like doing this. So How old are you me. again? Twenty six. Twenty six. Mm -hmm. Not bad, bro. Shit. All that potential. Right. Oh, you got to see his commercials. I think you recently jumped out of somewhere, I think, into the camera. You did one of them jumping. I'm trying to jump out the hood. I need to empty the end of it. Okay, okay. Smart, hey. smart. I'm telling you, that, that, bro, when I be watching your videos, it be inspiring me to think of new things. Bro. Hey, I, if anybody know anybody with a Hellcat, uh, we'll shoot some great commercials with a Hellcat. You know? Say, you guys, know Hellcat. Uh-huh. Hey, um, you work out a lot, too. I always see you posting stuff about working yeah. out. Gotta stay healthy, man. Gotta so, stay healthy. So what do you what do you eat? You eat a lot of junk food. Honestly, I eat, eat I eat everything, and I don't, I don't have no specific meal prep type things I do because at the end of the day, it's all about the consumption. If you consume too much of anything, you're not gonna be a healthy person. You can't eat too much sugar and try to drink a whole bunch of water. It's not gonna balance out. You just gotta consume a certain amount of things. Different times of the day, you can't can't do too much. Like I mean, look at me. I am a person with a fast metabolism. I'm always working, so I don't really have time to sit around and eat big meals all day. So I eat good proportions of everything, pretty much. Got my sugars, my salts, you know, everything. It just balances out, you know. You cook for yourself? Not really. Who who's cooking these meals you eat? I still that? have a great mom. <laughs> you know, it's 2021. Shout, Shout out, out to, to mama. the mom. Shout, Shout out, out to, to the mom. Shout out to mm -hmm. the mom. 2021, we still have moms out here that, that's really working hard to keep their kids in great shape, you know? Healthy, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, so what, what is the worst thing that ever happened to you at the liquor store? Worst thing that ever happened at the liquor it store? Could, oh, it could be the top two. We can do the top two, unless you need the top uh, three. He maybe can't share the best thing that's ever happened <laughs> to him. <laughs> no, no, don't get him fired now. Even though he's the manager, you the never know something that ever happened, happened to me in the, at the liquor room. store. Um, it haven't been a lot of bad things that happened to me. It's just all right. So what's the craziest shit? Like, what's the craziest thing a drunk has done done at the liquor store? I mean, that's really. Well, you, well, you seen him before, Olaf? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's that guy with the fucking yeah. hair like that, bro. So I came out. Oh, that guy right yeah. there. Oh man. So I was in the store with him. Be careful, guys. He's a flirt. Uh huh. And not women. <laughs> more mental careful, health wellness in our country. We need more mental health wellness in our country. Yes. As we joke, seriously, folks, mental health wellness. Mm -hmm. you, you know so, where where can people look up and, and some information? Well, that you uh, on one of our first shows, we uh -huh. shared two one one. They have a suicide guy. hotline. You know, mental health wellness. Mm -hmm. Reach out. They can find different ways Tell to help you. Uno and uno. now a lot of folks are doing virtual. Um, counseling, so it's making it a little easier to get the help. So, para la ayuda mental uh, de los locos, dos uno uno. Oh yeah, what's his name again? Um, can we call him Olaf? We gotta, hey, Olaf, Olaf, dos uno uno. Oh, it's Ricardo. That's his name. Ricardo, Ricardo dos uno uno. Call the mental, nah? No papis aquí. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What's the crazy thing he's done? Uh, the crazy thing he ever done was uh, I was in the store or whatever. Cause I don't really go outside because I don't try to get intermingled and all that crazy stuff out there. But one customer came in. It was like a guy's outside. He ha don't have on any pants, whatever, this and that. But he didn't have no pants? That's what they say. But I'm always what used to hearing that kind of stuff. Fuck? So I'm like, eh, whatever. I said, uh, yeah, man. So then a second customer. Now you see why they call him Ola. Yeah. Ola. Listen uh -huh. though, you see people with their pants pretty low, right? And if you get drunk <laughs> and you just walk out of your pants, I mean, I can see it happening. Uh -huh. Well, actually, yeah. Fucking, yeah. Um, what was it? Right? I think it was. Am I wrong? No, Y'all no. got your pants mm -hmm. up, but I'm just seeing some folks. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it seems like it'd be easy for their pants to fall. Uh -huh. Man, I hope. Hey, could we, could we, could we be able to show the video of that guy? That I, that I, that. Listen, guys. I think it was Saturday night. I'm on 10th in, in, in Congress, it was like 2 a.m. Um, my son tells me, look, Dad, that guy's naked crossing the street. I look, there's a guy just naked. Hold on. Man, no, not Ola. Oh, oh. No, this guy, the, uh, this guy had some, some manners at least. Oh. Mental so he's health wellness. 211, if you got mental problems, <laughs> you know, Ola, Reach please, out. dos uno uno, pa, hey, please, no papis aquí. Mm -hmm. Or drugs, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People, people. Well, he got to be on drugs. The guy's walking but naked. I pull up to him, hey, you okay? And all he says is, in the name of Jesus, get away. I was like, what? In the name of Jesus. Oh, so yeah. when yes. the guy tells you that, or, and he recognizes Jesus, 
Mm-hmm. Get the fuck away. He might might not be crazy. He might just really don't got nothing to live for. He said, what's going to happen to me if I walk out here butt naked? Forget it. And just try it, you know? Some people uh, just try stuff like that. I don't know, bro. 2 a.m.? And he looked like know. he was powdered up in something too. It was like, oh, he was all powdered mm-hmm. up. Water came from the club. Could have had a powder party. You know? right, bro. Look at that powder party, huh? Not that uh-huh. kind of powder party. <laughs> you know, not that kind of baby powder. Uh-huh. Baby powder, you know? The talcum powder's not good. Hey, Michelle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rare for tonight, I guess. Um, what, what, sex, what sex tip you got uh, in this Oh, in this show? my Jesus. Okay, well, I guess we were talking about it earlier. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's um, get into that topic. Now we can talk about now it. Now we can talk about it. We didn't it. want to talk about it before the, the, the hit play record. Go ahead. Now y'all can this. argue about it. This is going to get No, good. this <laughs> isn't argue. He's a young buck, and I was just letting him That's know it. that, you know, if you expect to keep a woman and you want her to go down on you, you're going to need to oh, go yeah, down yeah, on Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your phrase? There we go. That's you what know, it was. You, what it's was a phrase? give, give here, folks. It's out. a give, give. It? In and out. That, in and in out. out. He there says you go. In, He's and an out. in and out guy. This 26 in and year old guy. in and out. Just like, just like the Uber app. You type in your, your um, location. location, whatever. They come pick you up, drop you off. Just like that. You get in, get out. That's it. Oh, you're, you're an Uber fucker. You know about sex chat? You know about the sex chat app? Mm-hmm. Oh, Is the sex God. chat app? You should look it up. That's I'm just saying. Well, y'all chat and... What's the, what, what I don't think there's to, any chat. That's the type of stuff that hit the news because people getting they they privacy invaded and stuff. Uh, no, I heard about it and and like you know you can find people to hook up and uh-oh. they'll be like you gonna host? Would you want me oh, so to like host? Another it, plenty of fish. Oh. Yeah, it, something like that. It's, it's like a Tinder on steroids, I Tinder think. Tinder on steroids. Oh, so it's fucking just, let's fuck. I mean, I don't think anybody swipe Another left one that's or right. A favorite. There's no, no time I... to swipe left or right. <laughs> Listen, guys, don't get upset at me. You know, one of my favorite OnlyFans. Oh. I got to admit, OnlyFans, check it out. Oh, OnlyFans. Yeah, and, and you got to pay taxes. I, I yeah. found that out. Wait, wait, wait. So are, if you're showing your titties you and you're thinning. Are you on OnlyFans? Thinning, huh? Are you on OnlyFans? I, I was. Okay. I was. No, I, I couldn't look no more. Oh, oh, you more. were on it and you had like purchased. Yeah, yo, to you look? gotta pay. You gotta pay. Okay, it's, all right. it's No, but you were on there selling. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Thank, thank God, no, no. She's trying to dig deep. Me. Well, no, I mean, no, no, no. I, I think all kinds of celebrities. Are well, on maybe it now. I might do a porn. Thing. You know, not I might everybody. A porn star. I mean, I think that it. Is. Mr. E only fans. See, I said some. I said. That's some, what I'm saying. I said, I said some about I mean, to my I started. Are you gonna I started a succulent Michelle one. Ooh, I'm not succulent. I'm not Michelle. planning on doing like anything bad. Where you get that name from? Succulent Michelle. Oh, good question. Succulents. Okay. So, so. So it's succulent wild right? woman on a di- on a different <laughs> uh, on a different song. episode we talked about succulents and how succulents is uh, self love yeah. and uh, all of that you know you so know, really I mean it is it is you know fabulousness uh-huh. um, but really succulents is really like self love and yeah. giving that love out to the world and if you fill your love up with within without mm-hmm. material shit. You know what I mean? You have more to give out into your community. No in and out and here. So, <laughs> no, no, right married, married, it's almost 19 oh, so, uh, years. No in so, and out here. So, do you expect that then? No, no? Not, not in most cases. Not in most cases. Let me get this nut out and go. Yeah, so you don't want to get you that. Get yeah. The new generation. And you guys, you don't want to get too intimate with everybody, you know, because you don't know, you know. Some people got a lot of baggage. Sexually so transmitted diseases can't are not they, pre- you know you can get that shit on your mouth they are real you guys they are real it's real Why? and it's not Don't just down there it, you can get it on your mouth no i'm just oh, saying, they're, I'm about I'm saying they're real uh, you sounded so serious so that's I true that's true they're but real. you know now that everybody be moving around like like all free, like ain't nothing gonna happen to him. But so you know, raw dog. Mm-hmm. You mean yeah. Biden's world? You mean uh, in Biden's world? People living free, huh? yeah. living free in that's Biden's it. world. Yeah, right. true. Right? That's, that's what's up. What about you, I know, Missy? We're not what's talking that? About How you slanging out here? <laughs> Me? I'm a raw dogger. You know, I got mm-hmm. seven kids. <laughs> this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why I'm careful where I go and fuck. You know, because mm-hmm. I can't. I don't use condoms. Even though I give them away for free. Shout out to Compass for supplying the condoms. You know. Practice safe sex. Practice you know? safe sex. For real. Yeah. Don't mm-hmm. just drop the hot dog in the hot dog water. Be prepared. Pre- pre- prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, you need condoms or you know? I get I give away. You gave condoms. me a boatload. I got I got some in my. Bro, work. you're at the liquor store. I got some in my work truck. Yeah, some in my regular store. car. Some in my house. I got. You should, you should leave them in the cars when you watch the cars. Oh, but but seriously, seriously, one day you do want to find somebody. You just you know you gonna poke and hope forever. No, no. Poke and hope. I like that. Poke, poke and hope. Oh, poke and hope. No, I, had, I had a serious thing at one point. Okay, you know, I, had, I had a serious thing at one point. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. all right. Oh, yeah. So one day, one day, right well, I'm just letting you know you might have been able to keep that serious thing. No, 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 no. no. It, it's what, I think it's what pushed you to do everything you're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's, he started focus. working out, punching the bag, uh -huh. bum, 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 right. managing and, and, and sh sh security at the liquor store. Well, if you ever need advice as you grow new, up, you know, Mr. E, no? Succulent Michelle, yeah. we're here for you. Succulent yeah. Michelle. Mm -hmm. you Just that name. name. I should name right? myself Succulent Raw. Ooh. Ooh. Succulent, yeah. Yes. Ooh, you got to wait. You got to ask permission, though, Raw. Yes. You got to ask permission. So, so, you got to ask permission. I have to give you. Sucking and Raw. That's what I'm going to call you now. Sucking and Raw. That's it. You got it. Hey. Listen, the Bodacious Book of Succulents by Ooh. Sark is also Bodacious. for men. So uh, all the men out there, if you want to be succulent, mm -hmm. uh, check out that book? Bodacious Book of Succulents. What is it? What is what? Do you do you know what the definition of succulent is? They just sound they just sound juicy like something. Yeah, juicy. well that's what it is. Okay, so the technical definition is like rare and juicy. Um, flavorful, and, and so sexual. that's what yeah, yeah. that's what succulent life is about. It's Michelle, about living gotta, that flavorful life. Up about your name. <laughs> that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's not succulent rock. Uh -huh. You got succulent uh -huh. E, succulent uh -huh. Chris, succulent Josh. <laughs> uh -huh. We all say succulent Suck Duke. They, Duke they is go. succulent too. Duke. <laughs> Suck. hey, his face, his face that's like, what's up. up. <laughs> he like no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why he's in the background. Yeah. Actually, I have been buying these books for women for many years and I will give them the book and I call them my succulents. <laughs> oh, so you got That means group. they got the book. Got yeah. The Cuz there are women that you meet in the community and you you recognize them as like mm -hmm. succulent wild women. Yeah. And what does you that know. mean? Like you recognize them as second one woman, like um, people respectable that respectable women, okay, like, respectable women, uh, but question. also people who don't necessarily care that their hair is straightened and that their eyelashes are done and that they're whatever. In you know out. what I mean? Like in, in I don't, out, I don't really care whether you like my outfit or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and That's what you I'm, can do, huh? no, but it's like <laughs> I don't, I don't really care whether you like my outfit or not. I like my outfit. It makes me feel good, and I'm gonna go out into the community it's feeling true. good I and making other people outfits. feel good. <laughs> I get turned by you know? specific outfits. <laughs> I got you guys riled right up today. <laughs> you know? um, no, but seriously, uh, I'm gonna get y'all that book. Oh, mm -hmm. We're hey, gonna start using succulent. quotes. Succulent. What was it again? Succul Bobo? Bobo. Oh, the bodacious book of succulents. Bobo bodacious. Bodacious. <laughs> oh my God. That just sounds something bossy. Bodacious. You know, I'm gonna have to leave after this and you jack it off. You did say you like older women too, didn't you? Huh? Did you the say what? you like older women? You the me? Like the cougars? Oh yeah. Like cougars? All right, yeah. Don't. Oh. This, he likes what's to be bossed oldest, around. What's the oldest cougar you've been with? I ain't never been with none yet. Nothing yet? Y'all like me. Oh, oh so this is just... After this, this show. Just, they, say, okay. they say I'm a baby. Look out. Yeah. Cougars are going to be hitting up oh. the liquor store. Mm -hmm. So you, you should let them rock you. Hey. I'm, trying to, get I'm trying to get adopted. Tell them you're... you're, you're He's you're trying still, to get adopted. You're still breastfeeding. Uh-huh. Tell them. You suck on titties? Um, so you're not a titty sucker either. Oh, this young hey, man needs what? some help. This young so, man. They got so you titty sucker. If they got no extendo clip like this. I don't what? know about that. You know the mud flap. Oh man. Bring them Listen, up a little bit. Listen, don't oh. talk no yeah. shit unless you've been smacked by a big old titty. Oh, you ain't never been smacked <laughs> like a big old titty. You Look don't even that. know. Oh, tie titty. around my neck like a do rag. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh man. No, no I'm joking. No, I'm joking. I'm not the older women, the much. older women are nice because the older women they have a more of an understanding. You know, younger women they want everything now, 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 now. Older women have a they know what they want. Yeah, they, oh, they, they allow you to get that themselves. gradual step up. They take control. Yeah, they be like, come here, papito, negrito, eh, negrito, <laughs> que rico, ah, así. <laughs> <Ay. Ay. laughs> I'm going to take my straw, but they, they're kind of tight right now. <laughs> oh, well, that, the, the succulent work got you, uh -huh. got you motivated. Uh -huh. Hey, Michelle. The Whoa. succulent workout made his feet sore? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't, sweat. I don't know what you're doing, Michelle. You got um, him on the succulent. I know, it's so funny. Slide out my chair right now. You know how Whoa. I do. I, I, I come into the barbershop when I get you guys going. That's why we uh -huh. started a podcast. Mm -hmm. That's the whole reason. Because we've been having these conversations for a Google very it. long time. Google it. Very long time. Yeah. 
So you learned something today, huh? Learned a lot. You became succulent Robert. Not Robert Noel no more. Now we gotta change the whole business. Come on, man now. That's it. Ooh, he graduated. <laughs> there you go. He I'm took <laughs> You he take took, that confidence out in the world. Uh -huh. that, that's, he, he took uh, you gotta eat some pussy, she you said. Have to. Hey. You gotta eat pussy, bro. You guys. That's how you grow some beer like that. That's how you keep a woman. Look, that, how you think I grow pussy? Everybody. Look, right. Not everybody. <laughs> don't eat everybody, but just like you like analyze it, it though. That's the true. dental dam. That's what I do. You That's know what true. I start with? I start with the toes. Right? Mm -hmm. If a girl got good pretty toes, then that pussy gotta be maintained right. Yes, sir. That's you know? not the truth, folks. That's the truth. Most of the time. Come on. Then then look at the hands. Come on now. You Come gotta on look out, at the dude, hands because you, you don't want masculine hands jacking that. You're gonna be like, whoa! All man. Hot redneck girls yeah. got dirty feet. Come on now. Well, no, 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 no. I've seen redneck girls at the mud holes with, with pretty, pretty painted nails. It's just that money. That's oh, different. Okay. He, he means everybody. Right. He means like in a, general. A, a just in general. Okay. Like, a regular, right. like, look at your toes. They're maintained. They're all right. They're yeah, pretty. they're okay. That lets me know. That's a that's a point for me to go down. Taken care of. That's a point. There you go. Then I look at the hair. Okay. Then you want to check out the house. It depends oh. on the standard of, of, of messiness. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, then you got to go to the bathroom. You got to check that, 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 you got to check that garbage can. Well, since I'm a, okay. you know, since it's I'm a car messy, detailer, I can't eat that since pussy. So I'm a car detailer, if you got some mystery, Listen, some mystery That trash can smells like seat, pheromones, I say you get some. That's for me. That, whoa, okay. Dang. I'm just saying. Go in, go in. <laughs> Oh, and then you can't always analyze the pussy. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the pussy, you analyze it. You can, you know, stick a finger. That's a lot of work if you're what just you looking and hoping. So, sometimes, sometimes they got a good person. No, but you gotta do it sometimes quick. Someone. You gotta do it. Uh -huh. And while you're talking and finessing, you've already just you know, you're already okay. checking out the toes and everything. Yeah. Come on There's, now. It's, it's about it's characters about characters of sight. It's, it's, but you gotta eat pussy. It's, it's Did you know that God, God, God created so, men? Mm -hmm. yeah, God created goes. men with like sight. But That's about, why men like like porn more. It's about the slow glance. Like when you're mm. talking to a woman, you get to analyze everything when you're talking about it. like so I'm talking to you right now, I can look down at your toes real quick, pretend like I'm way just walking oh. real quick. Give me, one, 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 Give me a pound of that one, sir. Give me a pound of that one. Okay. And see it's the Michelle, you gotta look at it. And you already know it's gonna be worth it one minute. But you got, no, got on like an unlocked succulent. It's about like, checking out your toes. Oh, look at her. Checking out Randy. That's my personality. It's okay. It's only okay. a show. Shout out to my husband. It's only a show. Shout out to my husband. He's wonderful. Yeah. He's the man. He is wonderful. He yeah. is wonderful. He's a hell of a fisherman. He, he caught a catfish, the first one. Oh, he did. First he did. He caught the best. Oh, no, no. He caught the second one. He caught the best succulent fish in town, y'all. Okay, a long time ago. Yeah, actually, actually, your yeah, daughter caught fishing. the first fish. Shout she out to did. Laura. Laura Shout Jean. out to Laura. She's not gonna watch the show. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad. Until she's maybe twenty. But they, at least she can flash back. Teach when, me how to catch When mommy and fish. Mr. E used to go crazy on the on the show. She's always asking about the podcast. She wants to come uh, and watch us. Well, then you can give her the censored ones. We're gonna yeah. yeah, the censored ones. You can put the censored. Sure. I like yeah. fishing, but I don't like touching the fish. Does that make sense? It's like the pussy. You don't like you like to fuck the pussy, but not eat it. You're gonna need to get your hands yeah. greasy on them. <laughs> Put my gloves on. Oh, there so you go. Like, it's like some, there you, you go. know, you just gotta get in there. Like it's like the the wings that are hot and hot and succulent. I'm too booed, mm. y'all. I, I don't like the wings. Ooh, that you don't like wings. I don't like this. Oh. Can't get can't get the sauce everywhere. There you go, huh? He's a cool I used guy. to dig in there. Like, you can't get the sauce everywhere. Like. That's for Pierce. You, see, you know what it is? I got, I got no it. Five. It was the heartbreak that fucked him up. He ain't no five six <laughs> Maybe. one. Maybe the heartbreak. Cause he said he used to go in there messy. Uh huh. Now he's. Yep. You know? What's the area code in Fort Pierce? 772. He's a 772, mm -hmm. folks. Oh, man. I ain't no 561. I'm just I'm 561. <laughs> I'm 561. Hey, hey, guy. I, you can be both. What's that? You can be both cities at once. 772 and 561. So it'll be like, it'll be like those, those, those other people that you say, you know, Puerto can. Rican and Dominican. Yeah, you can. Kind of like that. You just can't, you just can't, like, say, I don't live in, I don't live in the 772 no more, so I can't put on too much because... It's like, bro, you don't live there, why don't you? you so you got you that. Up. You got to represent where you That's at. That's what I'm saying. But still, keep that reminder of where you grew up at, you know? My brother went to Fort Pierce High. So mm -hmm. he's, he's a little 772 and 561. So it's actually a nice place that. to be. It's actually I a nice that. place to be. Yeah, it's the, I think it's like the new city place now. Over there, like Fort St. Lucie. Fort St. Lucie's right. the new city they, place? They trying. It ain't there Who yet. Who said that? You know? <laughs> it ain't there yet. I thought they were coming up out there. They oh, trying, no. but they ain't coming quick enough. <laughs> Somebody was like, you should move to Fort St. Lucie. Yeah, they, like, a lot of no, people tried with that so. one. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, hey, guys. Sorry, Michelle. Hey, guys. Well, 
I want to thank our guest Robert. Wait, no. Succulent Robert. Yes, sir. And if Noel. You need, no. Uh -huh. Okay. Succulent Robert Noel. Mm -hmm. Yes, Robert. sir. If you need to reach him, his number is right here. Oh, you can call him for detailing. Um, if you need to get some liquor, you can come and see him too. He's at the Re El Rey uh -huh. liquor store. If you're a cougar looking to train him, he's Ooh. available. Looking to be adopted. Eh? Oh, he wants, oh to be, he, wants to be your, he wants to be your son. Gotta that baby face real quick. <laughs> Ooh. Well, hey, that's his number, guys. Again, that's his number, guys. Appreciate you checking us out. Stay tuned for next week because you never know who's in the chair. Cutting it up at Palm Beach Finest Barbershop. Hey, guys. It's Michelle with the tip of the week. You know that the world would be a better place if people listened to Michelle. So right now, I want you guys to go out. I want you to donate blood all across the country. Blood banks are starving for blood. It's really important. So I want you to go out, save a life, donate some blood. If you're here locally, hit up the One Blood bus or the facility on Hypoalexo, and uh, we can all help our community together.